Hello and welcome to another bloody good vaping. Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at the Pandora Shadow, which is a 16mm Genesis atomizer made by a guy called Sturm, a mod maker called Sturm. Sturm has brought out a few things in the past. He's brought out the Sturm Mod V1 and V2, which is a telescopic 14500 stroke 14650 mod. He's also brought out the first Pandora, which was another 16mm Genesis atomizer, and uh, when used with the Sturm, has the option of uh, becoming a hybrid. And now he's brought out his updated version of the uh, Pandora. Pandora and it's called the Pandora Shadow. Um, it's a lovely atomizer actually, it's got a really nice fine brush finish, it's made of 304 stainless steel with a Teflon insulator, you have a 3mm wick hole in there so you can get a nice chunky wick in there and a 1.2mm air hole. Um, it's 47mm in height and that's not including the drip tip and uh, it has a bloody good vape to it. I'll just uh, take a little blast now. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, what I'll do now is, uh, before I go into any major details about it, I'll go down to the table and uh, let you have a look at the uh, atomizer up close, put a wick in it, and uh, come back for a bloody good vaping. Chief. So you have your Pandora Shadow, lovely 16mm Genesis atomizer, 304 grade stainless steel, nice brush finish, and it's 47mm uh, in length. Now on the top cap you have that 1.2mm air hole drilled in there and what's quite nice about that is you turn it either way at a 45 degree angle and because of the cutting inside the deck which I'll show you in a minute it actually cuts off the airflow and cuts off that hole there so that you can lay it down on its side and you won't get any juice spilling out of it which is uh, quite nice. Stainless steel 510 connection at the bottom there and you have Pandora quite neatly etched on the bottom of your tank take off the top cap. As you can see there you have your stainless steel positive post uh, with, a, with a grub screw there to hold in your positive connection and a, a, a washer as well. Uh, I have a little problem with this washer it's quite a large um, washer there so you need to be careful because the wick is quite close to that positive post when it's in there be careful not to touch that washer, it does kind of get in the way sometimes with wicking and things like that, but it's not a huge problem, it's just something to be mindful for. Now, you've got a 3 mil wick hole in this right there, so you can get yourself a nice substantial wick in there, and the negative screw sits down a little bit into this cutout, um, and that allows uh, just a little bit of easier wicking there, so you don't have to pull down the wires or anything like that, your negative is already at the bottom, so if you're wicking once the uh, a wick is already in it makes it quite nice and simple and as you can see there's that, that cut out there with your step either side which is what cuts off the airflow as you turn your top cap now the tank section the tank section is easy to remove you just pull up on the tank section and push down on your deck with your fingers and it should pop off nice and simple and it's held on by o-rings there. Now this tank section can hold up to 3 mil of juice, that's not including the wick but um, it does say that it can hold about 3 mil of juice. So uh, that's quite a substantial amount for a 16 mil Genesis atomizer really, that's uh, quite handsome indeed, nothing wrong with that. And as you see you've got your fill hole at the opposite side of your wick hole at the back there, nice and simple to fill. So yeah, put the top cap back on held in nice and firm by those o-rings there, it's a really good looking piece and what we'll do now is I'm going to throw a uh, wick in this, put a micro coil on it and then uh, go back to giving it a bloody good vaping. Okay, so I've put in a micro coil on this Pandora Shadow, I've used 12 wraps of 0.3 Canthal and I've basically just fed the micro coil through and I'm just starting to pulse it now to get that heat through it and what I'm going to do is once I've got this lighting up all nice. I'm going to slide my 400 stainless steel mesh through the microcoil and into the wick hole. Just get that all nice. Yeah, so we're glowing quite pleasantly there. 
wait till that cools down a little bit and now I'm just going to slide the mesh through like so and it's sitting down now into my tank probably cut a little bit short there but you can put it however you want it let's give that a pulse check for any shorts which I'm not getting that's lighting up nicely and that should probably give you about one ohm as well now what I want to do is slide my tank over the top like so, make sure it goes over the o-rings there I have it give it a feel superb so there you had the Pandora Shadow and uh, it's a really nice Genesis Atomizer, 16mm Genesis Atomizer. Um, I do love the brush finish on it, it looks really nice and the 1.2mm air hole as well is uh, an extra little bonus for me. Most 16mm Genesis Atomizers that I use, say the Nawal, um, the Hellfires, they're only a 1mm air hole and I find them just a fraction too tight so just having that little extra is uh, really nice for me you know I do prefer an area drawer um, it does remind me in look of the Narwhal uh, it has a very similar style to it, a very similar finish um, it is shorter than the Narwhal, about 4mm shorter this is a 47mm without the drip tip um, but the deck is completely different when you take the top cap off it, it, it could it's got some substantial um, differences obviously the narwhal has a single um, positive and negative on the on the main post whereas this has its separate negative as well and I do like the fact it has that cutout on it so uh, the deck sits down where your wick hole and your negative post is so that basically you can turn the top cap and it will close off the air hole there so you can set it down if you want to and it will help stop leaking but obviously it's a Genesis atomizer and you do uh, get little bits of seepage and little bits of um, leakage from a uh, Genesis atomizer um, the vape on it is really nice and having that 3mm wick hole as well gets you a nice sort of wick in there so it wicks nice and fast and um, it's got a bloody good throat hit as well and really nice flavour I'm going to take another little blast Yeah, really nice. I do like 16mm Jennies uh, quite a lot. I do have uh, a few mods that it will go with. Um, I've got like uh, my chamfered 16mm top cap on the MCR. It goes really nice in a micro stick as well. And technically, it should go really nice in a sat mod mini. However, this one I have here, and I found this quite strange because I've been seeing a lot of pictures of people with them in their sat mod minis. So I was quite excited um, to have another little 16mm Jenny that I could put in my sat mod mini. Um, obviously at the moment I've only got a narwhal or I use a K-Fun mini depending if I fancy a bit of silica. And so when I got this I immediately jumped at the chance to try and put this in a sat mod mini and I discovered this. It's too fat to go into my sat mod mini, um, which I found really strange. Being it's 16mm, it should uh, just sink in there nicely. Uh, and what I have noticed as well, I took it apart and basically I turned the tank section upside down. So the Pandora was um, basically upside down at the top and it fits. So for some reason, the uh, bottom part of my tank bows out just a little bit too much and won't fit in my sat mod mini. Now that is just on this one because I've seen plenty of people putting these in a sat mod mini and they look absolutely fantastic. So uh, fuck me, right? Um, but there you go. I'm sure it's just on this one, but it's worth looking. It's worth checking um, just in case. I mean, that probably would go, but I'd have to force it and it would scratch the fuck out of my mod and my atomizer. Now for price. 
These recently, last, well this week, the beginning of this week came out on Vapist and they were $79.99. Vapist ran out of them pretty quick, they sold out pretty quick. Um, but there are lists going, if you're a member of Vaporwall, Sturm is an avid user of that and puts up lists on that. Um, Vape Pit and also on Hemo as well and the Hemo list that has just gone up is for a basically a Hemo engraved special edition. Which I've put my name down, Radi fucking da. But uh, yeah, so there are quite a few of lists about so you can actually get them or you could wait for vapist to get them back in stock and obviously once these probably lists are done they'll be back there quite soon gonna take another vape Yeah, I do really, really like it. Like I said, I love 16 mil Jennies. Um, I really do enjoy them, um, definitely with some of the mods that I've got. I think the price is really good for what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a great tasting device. Um, it has those little extra options on it as well, like you can turn off the airflow, like um, the three mil wick, like the 1.2 mil air hole. It's a, it's a great little Jenny, and uh, I'd highly recommend it as well. Um, 80 quid for something of this quality is a fucking steal, really, in my eyes. Um, the engraving's lovely on it. It's got that sort of italic writing at the bottom. Um, if only it sat in uh, my sat mod mini, um, it would be absolutely perfect. But yeah, um, that's the Pandora Shadow by Sturm. 16 mil atty, 304 grade stainless steel, um, 3 mil wick hole, and uh, 1.2 mil air hole. Absolutely fucking lovely. Great flavour and that got lime sparkle in there at the moment, um, being my all day Jenny vape and um, it tastes just as good as anything out there on the market. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this review and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.